Hey YouTube, a little video of uh, a little bit of everything, nothing, uh, no one top. I'm just gonna kind of walk around the yard a little bit and just do some updates. Uh, put some new sneakers on the Mustang. Those were those rims I had talked about at one time. They were off of a 68 uh, GT Mustang or uh, 68 whatever. It's just that the the rally wheels GT would have GT in the center of the hubcaps. But it kind of cleans the car up really nice. Mustang is on the road and uh, did pass inspection. Been having fun tooling around, just kind of chasing little problems here and there, but uh, nothing major. The biggest thing was probably the radiator. I uh, decided to uh, give up the ghost and uh, had to pull that out and cut a couple of fins out of it. But uh, been getting some thumbs up riding around. She's looking pretty good. Yeah, why don't you want to look too close? <laughs> I'm like perfectly confident on that uh, radiator, so I am carrying around a jug of water just in case. But she's pretty good to go. Probably did about I don't know, about 100 miles on it so far. Nothing with the uh, the bus. People have been asking if I'm going to get onto that. Uh, I really think that's going to be held off until the fall. I just have too much going on during the summer. That I really don't have the capacity to take another car apart. And uh, every time you take one apart, it takes up the space of two. So uh, that's just on the back burner for a little while. I just wanted to get an idea of what I had. And I know. The uh, tires that I took off the Mustang, the stock wheels, was the same bolt pattern as the camper was. And the camper tires are junk. Uh, if you look at them, you can see those sidewalls are just, you know, they're splitting at the seams. So yes, the Mustang wheels are in nice shape, and uh, the bolt pattern's the same, but the ID of the center, not the same. Oh wow, I thought it was gonna get out easy, but I'm gonna have to switch them over to these rims. Uh, those are just regular car tires, but they have a weight load of uh, like 1586 a piece, and these tires, which are trailer tires, are much different. I think they say 1800, and the whole trailer probably weighs 3200 pounds, so um, those tires are good for 6,000 plus. So I'm gonna try and put them on. A lot of people say you can't put car tires on a trailer and you know, it's issues and etc. Well, we have a trip coming up shortly and uh, my opinion is it's a bunch of bullshit because now they make radials for uh, campers too. So I'm gonna put those on. I see how I make out instead of spending 500 bucks on tires and I'll see how they, uh, if they cause any issues as far as handling. But I've had a couple of other kind of trailers that I put car tires on, just utility trailers. I never noticed anything. I know the sidewalls are a little stiffer, but uh, I don't think it's going to be a problem. But I'll let you know. That's where we're going with that. Uh, what else we got? Oh, I uh, went and uh, a while ago I looked at a, some welders that I had gotten. And on the property was a, a tire machine. And of course it was frozen in at the time, but the guy called me up and said the uh, tire machine's available. Uh, they're in the process of moving. So here's what I ended up. I think it's at like a Coats 4040. I'm not quite sure. I do have a tire machine now. It's a Coats 1010. What this machine has and my other one doesn't is this guy right here. It's that air blast when you're seating the tires. And uh, you know, one bead wants to you lift up on the tire, and you get one bead stuck to the top, and then you try pulling it down so the, you catch the bottom bead, and the top one pops down. Well, this thing has an air tank in it, and uh, when you hit the pedal all the way down, it uh, nails the air blast and uh, fires uh, air under the tire to kind of fill the tire up as you're trying to seat it. At the same time, it fires air into the tire valve and uh, gets the thing to pop. So it's a nicer machine than what I had, and it was 150 bucks. So. Uh, it looks like an antique to a lot of people for me though everything i work on is old stuff so i really don't uh, deal much with uh, big rims and big tires so all said and done i just have to get that thing off of the trailer and in the garage and uh, my back just hurts looking at it <laughs> but i gotta do something with it gotta get off the trailer the other one's on wheels so i'll probably put that one on craigslist and roll that out of the garage uh, for room and I've been playing around with the idea of making something for the uh, 
uh, the Schwinn bike that I built. And I want to make a trike, I think, is my next one I'm going to go with. So, lo and behold, I have another victim. Picked it up yesterday from, uh, get about uh, 15 miles from here. He had it on a Craigslist for 40 bucks. So I grabbed that one and uh, I need one more. They do make a version that has a Springer front end with a front brake. So that's the other one I want to look for because of course I only need one front end but I need two ass ends to make what I want. Uh, so that'll be the next piece I'm looking for. You can kind of see a, a before and after the difference between the two. Get them in the both in the same shot. So I think it looked pretty cool with two of those back tires. And I'm going to do it two up because I'll end up having two seats and uh, pretend this is a trike. You'll have that seat here and then there'll be another seat coming up higher on the back side. And I may go, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking like maybe a tractor trans. I need something with a differential so like, you know, the bike will make turns. But if it's a live axle, it won't even, it'll just want to go straight, you know, it'll push. And while I was yard sailing, I grabbed uh, these guys. Another bike I want to make is going to be an electric scooter, electric bike rather. And uh, these are a bunch of racer scooters that each one has miscellaneous problems, but each switch powers up. So that's going to give me eight uh, 12 volt batteries, 12, 12 of these batteries. So uh, I think they wire them up in, in uh, series. So they put out 24 volts to the motors. And uh, I think I may run two motors on a single bike, I'll just you know, tie them together. And uh, I'm gonna do uh, like a saddlebag on each side of the bike and I'll put saddle, uh, the batteries in the saddlebags and the motors will be hidden underneath. You won't see them driving the wheel on an old antique bike. And uh, we'll just pretend that's a pedal bike. We won't even show the fact that it has motors and batteries in it. So I'm thinking about using all eight of the batteries, four on each side, it'll give it a nice a lot of power and with the two motors it'll give it some snot when it wants to get up and go and uh, maybe even do a toggle where I can flip, flick it over to like 36 volts and kick it back down to 24 but uh, that's also on the list of, of someday fixed up a little uh, Honda 50 that was sitting for quite a few years it looks like hell but uh, you thought I looked funny riding around on my uh, my little Schwinn, just seen what I look like on that thing. You know, it's a, that whole bike is three feet long. <laughs> it's tiny, you know, it's, compared to, there's a push lawnmower next to it. It's the same size as a push lawnmower, you know. But, uh, that should be getting picked up today or tomorrow. I uh, have a VMAX that got dropped off. Uh, did a bunch of work that, again, this bike had sat in a barn for uh, uh, quite a few years. I think he said it was like 10 years and uh, Got it running. Uh, the only problem is it, it, it slowly, the temperature comes up and wants to go overheat. So we're gonna go try doing a thermostat and uh, see, start there and see if uh, that helps our issues. If not, we're gonna have to dig further. But uh, he kind of wants to go to bike week, which is coming up in about 10 days or so. And uh, we wanna see if uh, we can resolve some of those problems. Here's the rest of the uh, Mustang tires. I was in the process of uh, gonna go put them on the wheel balancer, but uh, no sense if I gotta pop them off the rims. And uh, here's my old tire machine. Uh, served me well. I've changed probably 200 tires on that thing, and it doesn't have the air blast. But again, it does have wheels that rolls out. Uh, but I don't think the other one I'm gonna do that. I think I'm just gonna clear out that whole corner right there underneath those cabinets and just set that tire machine up right there and uh, just. You know, when I'm not using it, I'll pack junk around it and go from there. Well, thanks for watching. It's, a, it's a, just a, a little kind of a plethora of different stuff I have going on. And uh, always want to work and play with the toys, but at the same time, I got to make a few bucks to uh, keep a roof over our heads. So, thanks for watching. Take care.